Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of somebody who's very objective, very logical. This is someone who's able to look at the situation and make some sort of head over heart decisions, very rational energy here. Um, there is also a sense of um, coming across as a bit detached or aloof or even cold with this energy. Um, the Queen of Swords is definitely someone who has learned a lot from experience and as a result, she's quite a no-nonsense type of person. This is someone who's not afraid to cut someone off if they are, um, you know, disrespecting their boundaries or if they are lying the queen of swords is a truth teller she she seeks the truth and also can be quite blunt as well quite um sharp with her words so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this virgo okay so the first card we have is the seven of wands and this is fire energy next we have the king of wands fire energy again and then finally we have the ace of cups water energy Okay, so there is somebody here who you may have cut off with this Queen of Swords energy. Um, there is a sense of you, um, you know, giving this person a bit of a cold shoulder. Um, there is a sense of you being very rational when dealing with this person. And it's put this person in a position where they feel they feel quite vulnerable. They feel like they need to fight for this connection or defend this connection. Um, I'm seeing someone who is a bit defensive, but it's in the sense of them wanting to maintain something with you, wanting to keep something alive with you. Because this person is feeling like you are coming across as a bit cold or distant to them. Um, with them showing up with this King of Wands energy, I do see this person is trying to warmen you up or, um, you know, soften you up with that, that fiery energy. This person is definitely trying to um, maintain some sort of balance with you. This person is trying to work on something here. This person wants to keep a connection here. And they, they, there's a sense of determination on their part with this King of Wands. Um, this person, I do see them having genuine intentions with this King of Wands energy. This is somebody who's very attracted to you. Um, I do see this person as very charming themselves. This is also a very attractive person. And um, this is a go-getter. This is someone who's in their masculine. This is someone who goes after what they want. And um, there is a desire here to have a new beginning in love with you. Um, with this Ace of Cups, this is definitely somebody who is extending um, some cup to you, opening their heart to you. Um, this could be initiating some sort of heart-to-heart -heart with you. But there is this desire for a new beginning in love here. And um, they, they are definitely seeing you as someone who is a bit of a challenge someone who um you know they someone who's, who easily sees through them they they may even feel vulnerable at times because of that but this person is definitely attracted to you they're intrigued by you that this is definitely someone who, who who wants to invest here emotionally okay so let's clarify these cards virgo Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. 
and this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy so again we're seeing here someone who feels a spark somebody who's very attracted to you and um there is this determination to um you know to light something up here um i do see this person is wanting to initiate they're definitely in their masculine they're pursuing so this person is seeing you as someone that they are in pursuit of okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this virgo Okay, so the first card we have is the Strength card, and this is Leo energy, so you could be dealing with a Leo. And next we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and this is Earth energy. And finally, we have the Ace of Swords, Air energy. Okay, so again, we're seeing this Ace energy. This person wants to initiate something. They want some sort of new beginning. They want to start something with you. Um, and with the Ace of Swords, this is definitely an energy of truth. Um, this person wants to have some sort of truthful beginning with you. They want to express something to you. They want to communicate with you. This person also, I do see someone who um, is attracted to your mind as well. There is the sense of them liking how you think or viewing you as somebody who um, is a good thinker, somebody who is very intelligent. And with the Five of Pentacles, again, we're seeing someone who feels like they've been left out by you, that, that you've shut them out in some sort of way. And they, they're trying to come out from the cold. Hold. They are trying to bring back warmth to the situation. Um, this person is holding on with that strength card and that seven of wands. They're fighting for this. Um, this person definitely, they admire you strongly. And there's a lot of physical attraction as well. Um, this person definitely does see you as somebody who has very firm boundaries. They see you as somebody who is very integrous and um, they respect that about you. They respect you as a person. And I, I do feel them feeling very pulled towards you. This is someone who's who's courageously coming towards you. They feel quite confident to do this. Um, there is a sense of them viewing you as someone who, um, you know, is in this Queen of Swords energy. But it's not enough to prevent them from wanting to initiate something. So there is this um, sense of them extending some sort of olive branch here. Um, this person definitely, uh, I'm seeing them being quite direct with you, very blunt communication from this person, very um, obvious motives. This person is definitely going to be quite blunt about their intentions here. And it, it is rooted in love. There is this sense of them operating from their heart space, um, a very warm energy from here, this person. Okay, so... I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. Okay, so the card says, hold your vision, fixed moon. Okay, so this this energy, I do see this as this person viewing you as somebody who who has those strong boundaries, somebody who they have to come correct when they approach you. Um, they do see you as somebody who you know knows what knows what they want, somebody who's decisive, somebody who's who's very smart with this Queen of Swords energy, and um, I do see them viewing you as someone who you know is almost rigid or not flexible it's like you're you're not going to be easily swayed so this person recognizes that you're you're quite a challenge to them but i do see them holding their vision as well they they're quite determined they're pursuing him okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um virgo So the card says this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek okay so with this hold your vision energy and that fixed moon energy i do see that as this could be advice for you to uh to hold your vision to not lower your standards to not um you know to 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 to, to stand in that energy to hold that vision because this person that you're dealing with is somebody who is willing to rise to your level they are willing to you know meet your standards so there is this sense of needing to hold your vision um and you'll know that this person is the one because they will rise to that occasion they will meet you at that queen of swords level they will approach you um um you know to your to your level they will respect your boundaries they will be honest and um there is just the sense of them meeting your standards and um proving themselves to be the one okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you virgo
Okay, so the card says elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Okay, so there is this energy again here. This person is viewing you as somebody who, um, you know, has this elegant air about them, but also somebody who is a little bit distant, somebody who's not um, in a hurry for anything with them or somebody who is just very objective, very logical, rational when it comes to this. It's like you're not being swayed by your emotions. There's this fixed vision that you have and you're sticking to it. And this person, they're, they're attracted to that. In some way, I do see them um, really respecting that. And, and um, this person, definitely, I do see them, um, you know, it's like they're not going to give up on this. They're not going to give up on their pursuit towards you. Um, and I do see them coming towards you with very honest energy with this ace of swords that ace of cups energy okay so it definitely this person I, I do see them respecting your queen of swords energy they're not intimidated in fact this person is viewing it as um a welcomed challenge is what i'm seeing they they want to fight for this this is somebody who who is wanting to rise to your level um th there is a sort of sense that you keep this person on their toes and they like that okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.